Let's pour Ronnie and Denise, ah. Uh. Let's eat for dinner again. Hey, leave some garupa for the children, lah. I love the best part, what? The fish head and tail. <laughs> Hello? Paul? Where are you? Oh, of course. Okay, lah. Paul is coming home later for dinner. If there's any food left. <laughs> I didn't know he was on course. Hey, where's Ronnie and Denise? No, no, lah. Those two are so busy, they have no time to fight with each other. <laughs> hey, if they are not coming home for dinner, I'm going to eat the fish head. Huh? Same with what? Huh? Hello? Denise? Okay, lah. Denise is also coming home later for dinner. She says she has to attend some stamina. <laughs> stamina? Uh oh, stamina. So what about Ronnie? Huh? Hey, call it. Ah, handphone. Ronnie has a handphone? Since when? <laughs> Hello? Are you coming home to eat? Okay, lah. Ronnie also coming home later. Ronnie, <laughs> don't keep all lah. <laughs> I better answer it before all the food disappear. Hello? Hey, Mr. Wang. Huh? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, okay, okay. Bye bye, bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Mr. Wang also not coming home for dinner. Huh? Hey, isn't he in China? Remember the Great Wall Minimart? I was supposed to help him set up in Suatau. You want me to go next month? Next month? But it takes a long time to set up a mini mart. Must you go? What to do? I promised him already. You're going to China. We have so little chance to eat together. Hey, Dolly. Hmm? Give some for me to eat there. Problem. I can stay there as long as it takes to set up the minima. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's going to China. He always comes back with at least ten more Wong brother stories. <laughs> Good. When dad's gone, I get to drive to work. No more getting squashed in the bus with all that stinky BO. <laughs> there won't be any BO in the bus because you won't be in it. <laughs> all of you are be home by seven. I'm planning a surprise dinner for your father. Oh, I have my breakfast in the office, ma. Gotta be there before my boss. Be the first to show my face. The early bird eats his porridge and keeps his job. Saka. When Dad goes to China, I have to run the mini mart by myself. That means I have to deal with impatient and unreasonable customers. And that means my stress levels will increase and my immunity against diseases will decrease. And that means I better step up my dosage of vitamin C, A, D, B, K, E. And that means I have bees. You have bees early tonight. Wow, so much food! <laughs> Sun Kui, Yu Zha Kui, Chai Tong Kui, Chui Kui, the whole Kui family here. <laughs> I made all this just for you. Hiya, Dolly, don't eat, huh? Nee, when you're in China, you won't have a chance to taste my cooking. Uh, what else would you like to eat? Dolly, don't eat, huh? Nee, I'll cook you steamed garupa, chili crab. Hey, Dolly, how about um, pork ribs? Sambal kangkong, butter prawns, and tikka, corn bak pao, abalone. Cannot lah. Must save money. Hey, Dolly, the Yusuf is too busy to go on a cruise with me. He went fishing in Malacca. As if there are no fishes in Singapore. <laughs> See? Bargain cruise so cheap, right? Dolly, 
want to go on a cruise? A cruise? Hmm? To where? Don't have to go anywhere, just the high seas. <laughs> if we don't have to go anywhere, might as well stay at home. <laughs> save money. Can save money but still have fun, right? See, this cruise is value for money. Come on, Dolly, you've never been on a cruise before. You say so. I took the ferry to Kusu Island last year. <laughs> Come on, Dolly. You can relax on the cruise, and then you can eat all you want on the cruise. Hey, maybe even see Tom Cruise. Because it's fun, right? Tom Cruise is quite dangerous, right? Remember Titanic? It sank. <laughs> and the people had to float on planks. That was just a movie. And the poor boy died because he did not have any space on a plank. <laughs> because uh, his girlfriend was like you. <laughs> So what? <laughs> so pretty like you, Rosna. <laughs>
telling them? Do they tell you anything? No? So? It's already seven. Where's mom? Should I go to Auntie Rosa's place to look for her? Yeah. No. If she comes back and you're not here, she's going to throw the food out of the window. Food? What food? I don't get it. She's supposed to be here. This is too stressful. Oh. Oh. I can feel my gastric juice is churning. And when that happens, my head starts pounding. And my arteries are starting to clog because of the stress. And, and my blood pressure is shooting up. Everything's going wrong. No lunch, no food, no running. I'm just throwing on any minute. I made it. Mom! She's not here. She's not here? I saw Dad get into the lift downstairs oh. and I ran all the way up here to make sure that I got here before he did. And she's not here? <laughs> oh. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> oh, you are not ready yet. <laughs> it's a, a real surprise, Dad. Uh, Mom's not here. What's your mother? Where's the food? <laughs> Were you late? Maybe she threw the dinner out of the window. Go downstairs and check. Hey, what's this? Dear Tech, Paul, Ronnie and Denise, by the time you read this, Rasta and I will be overseas. <gasps> Not Sentosa. <laughs> Some people think I'm Kan Chiong. Ow! <laughs> to relax. I didn't call all of you because you're so busy all the time. Doing what? I don't know. You never tell me anything, so I'm not telling you where I'm going. Love, Dolly, racket, mum. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> My fault? If you weren't going away, none of this would have started. Hmm? What did you say? <laughs> I, I said if, if, you, if you're going, I... <laughs> going through a midlife crisis or having menopause. Hmm? Menopause? Shouldn't it be women no pause? <laughs> it's all my fault. I should have spent more time with her. It's my fault too. I'm always so busy with school. No wonder she's upset with you ungrateful brats. You know, I come home every night. You know, I make sure I spend time with her. I make tea for her. We should all do something nice for mom. That's why when your mother comes back, we should all go to Taiping. Your mother likes to hate me there. Taiping? 
That sucks even more than this fried rice. <laughs> it's for your mother. We will go next week. Next? Oh, sorry. I have a health conference to attend. Then two weeks later, lah. Oh, no can do that. The law ball is on. Then three weeks later, lah. Oh, no way, Dad. That's when the Miss Singapore pageant is on. You are taking part, is it? No, I'm the uh, unofficial swimwear judge. <laughs> How about next month, huh? Then you all go without me. Other things are more important than family. Family comes first. This reminds me of a story. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Mr. Wang. <laughs> yes, yes. Huh? So soon, but my wife... Uh... Oh, 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 I see, I see. Of course, I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Business comes first. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> See you, huh? Ah, okay. They need me urgently in China. I have to leave in two days' time. Huh? Two days? We better find Mom. Here's your plane ticket, Dad. And toilet paper, in case they don't have any in Swatow. <laughs> of course, there's toilet paper in Swatow, you Swaku. Where's the bak kwa? Your mother always packs some bak kwa. Dad, I couldn't find your jacket, but Uncle Yusuf lent you Auntie Rosa's winter coats in case it gets cold. <laughs> your mother, always keeping my thing. I don't even know where she puts anything. Uh, don't forget these anti-malaria pills, Dad. And your mini documents for Mr. Wang. How to think about my business when there are so many things I haven't done yet? Don't panic, Dad. Everything's under control, okay? Uh, uh, we have the clothes, yeah. right? Uh, the underwear, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, tickets, tickets, and the passport. Uh, po Chai Yin. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. All we need is a suitcase. I wish you would want to put it through. You can use my backpack. How are we going to squeeze all this into this? <laughs> Dad, where are you going? I'm going for kopi. <laughs> hey, Dolly, are you okay? Your face is so purple like Ribena. Oh, shout. Not well, headache. <laughs> Take two of this Panadol. And then rest, and then you'll be okay. Ross, I want to go home. Go home? But why are we having so much fun, what? Mm. Let's go pee for and the children. Yeah, actually, yeah. I also miss cooking for my Yusuf. I miss my Sayang, the captain of my ship. <laughs> I'm going to call him. Cup of tea? Tea? No, 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 no
already. Yeah. Don't be sad, lah, Dolly. I'm sure Tate will call. You want to wait for the children with me and Yusuf? No. I'll wait for them alone. than my business. You have to go. You promised Mr. Wang already. How could I live without seeing you? I told Mr. Wang I could only live tomorrow. <laughs> mom? Oh, <sighs> Mom, we were so worried. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the cruise. No, it's okay. Never mind. Uh. We're glad you're back. Yeah. <laughs> we missed you. <laughs> Mommy's home? This reminds me of a story. Oh. <laughs> Long before your time, in the southern province of China, there was a hunter called Aheng. People call him 100% one-shot Heng because he could kill any wild animal with just one shot. Pew! One day, the village headman asked him to hunt the fierce man-eating tiger. But Ahen wanted to hunt the golden dragon instead. His family warned him not to hunt the dragon. But he didn't listen. He fought the dragon for seven days and seven nights and <laughs> killed it. But on the eighth day, the man-eating tiger came and ate him up. <laughs> now, do you know the moral of the story? Um, uh, eat the tiger before the tiger eats you? No. Ah, protect endangered species. Stop tiger or dragon hunting. Wrong. The moral is, never take your family for granted. You see, Ahim didn't listen to his family, so he got eaten up. If he had listened to them, he would not have got eaten. Wrong. He would still be alive. We must always appreciate what we have. When I go, you make sure to take care of your mother. And come home early for dinner. And don't give your mother a headache. Yeah, Dad. Dad, I'm so glad you waited for me to come home before leaving. <laughs> How could I leave without seeing you? Okay. <laughs> Only you know how to pack my luggage for me. Mediacorp Studios production for Channel 5.